Okay, focusing on balance as opposed to setting out. Okay, this is coming across as balancing. This is coming across as like lifestyle as opposed to more of like the effort and work components. This is coming across as like work-life balance. There's definitely quality involved here. Having a say, maybe in the direction or the way something plays out. And this is giving like manifest destiny, choose your own adventure vibes, carve your own path, create your own success. It's coming across as, as though it starts at home or maybe there's some ground that could be gained over the next couple of months. <clears throat> there also could be marriage and union involved. Some sort of rite of passage or initia initiation, orthodoxy. It's being kept hidden or close to the vest. It's like... You don't want others to know about this. It's almost as if you're like making a break for it or you're like, I want to say run away. The feeling is like running away or this is kind of interesting. This is what I'm focused on. Spirit, what is this Hierophant? There's definitely being compensated. Maybe for some direction that you're that you're giving. Overseeing. I'm also getting like marriage, um, wedding planner type for your services. But anything else specifically for the Hierophant spirit coming through? Yeah, partnership, relationship, agreement. Bear with me, guys. There's a lot that I don't want to speak into existence. That's why I'm not really kind of saying all of it. Because I do not want to speak anything from the past to come. Because I, mean, I am seeing like a chicken's coming home to roost type feel. Almost as if like a return of an ex. But... I think you want to be careful for like fair weather friends, people coming only at the point of your success, wanting to join in in the adulation of your success. Anything else with that kind of Hierophant? Um, it can also be a union of self. Okay. The Trinity of Self. I think this is a double confirmation with the two fives in reverse. Bridging to the future, coming out of conflict.
definite advancing and leveling up. Could be a period of respite where you're not taking as much action. <clears throat> now the devil card is restriction as well. This is also putting yourself in a circumstance for the sake of meaning or purpose. So this isn't, it's not all just kind of lust and evil and passion. I'm not really getting that it has any power here because the king of cup is here. So this is almost like putting yourself and again, don't let the imagery confuse you because it isn't lustful or sexual by nature. That's just this interpretation of it. But that's not what's coming through here. What's coming through is more so like gaming the system from within in like an ethical way. That's so fascinating because the Knight of Pentacles comes out and this is like, <clears throat> to me, I think that there's a lot of nobility here. And, and kind of steadfastness along with taking all of your time because you're going the right way. You're doing things kind of brick by brick, bird by bird. And it's noble and it's ethical and it takes time. That's why you're, you're seeing this kind of slow haste and this value here. It's not like an overnight success. Wow. <clears throat> I would not be surprised if you pull in a soulmate this season. Okay, between now to Pisces season. See if anything else interesting runs through here. Yeah, it feels as though that you're in a position of power. You have your pick of the litter. You know that you're not going to squabble in relationship anymore. It's either going to be there and be right for you, or you're just going to pass up on it. You're not going to try to fit a square peg into a round hole. a feminine energy that you're pulling into your um, into your life as well this is famously Gemini Cancerian energy alright okay guys I'm going to leave it there feel free to reach out for a personal one on one reading like share follow comment subscribe love you guys peace